a great event is happening this weekend. It's National's uh -huh. Hot Air Balloon Festival. Yeah. They have a polo match out there. This is out at Fontenelle. It kicks off at 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's going to last until tomorrow. So that's going to be great. Those are beautiful when the yeah. it gets kind of dusk out there and those uh -huh. hot air balloons are lit Always up. Always love, uh, love those. Have you ever been up in one? I have been to one that was tethered, uh -huh. but I haven't been to one that took off. I don't yeah. know if I'd want to do several, that. Uh, you? Several years ago, a station I worked at in the Tri-Cities owned one or sponsored one, oh, and cool. I got to do one. I actually did a live shot from, from a hot air balloon once, and it, nice. it was just a nice, smooth ride. It was so cool. I'll bet. Good view. Yeah, Can't get that very, very nice view uh, for us out there. <laughs> Meanwhile, around the Mid-South this morning, not much going on over Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Uh, let me say good morning to everybody who was a part of the Sunday School Convention this last weekend over at the uh, Robert Churchwell uh, Museum Magnet School over on uh, D.B. Todd in North Nashville. I was there with Storm 5 Titan, and this is the whole group, but I was speaking to some of the students about the weather. Had truck over there so that they could take a look inside of Storm 5. Of Titan. So to everybody that is over there and to uh, uh, the uh, presiding elder of the district, uh, Sydney Bryan, who you see there on the right side of the screen for inviting me out and to the whole host church, Ali Chapel for the hospitality there, but had a great time there with the Sunday School Convention this last weekend. As you get ready to walk out the door this morning, here is our weather kid, Logan. Logan showing temps around 90 later in the day. He's at a Gladeville Elementary. We are in good shape right now, so nothing going on. We're watching this area here. Storm complex developing. That storm complex is going to move our way as it does so. One or two of those storms moving in could be strong, possibly severe. The threat would be some damaging wind gust or hail uh, as this comes in and also some locally heavy downpours. Now the computer models differ a bit. When we give you the weather, we look at a host of models uh, to give you an idea of what's up. This particular model and several of them don't do a whole lot during the afternoon. One or two others try to pop a little bit this afternoon, but this one and a few others bringing in rain overnight. Now they may vary a bit on the timing overnight, but they bring in some showers and storms weaken this as it comes in. But here's another one at daybreak that we'll need to watch. And then tomorrow afternoon and evening as this one comes in with maximum daytime heating, then that's when a few more of those storms could really be strong. So we'll watch that. But again, stay weather aware this weekend. Here's a quick check of your seven day forecast. 90 degrees this weekend. Heat index 95 to 100. Our weather artist today, Haven Dunham from Carroll Oakland School out of Wilson County. Our camp is White House summer tennis camp going on. William Rappin sent me a note on that. So everybody in White House, good morning to you.